One of the things I've seen lots of confusion about online over the last few years is gearbox codes. So what I want to do today is show you where your gearbox code should be located on your gearbox and if it's missing for whatever reason, so often it's, it's rubbed out or the corrosion's wiped it to the point where you can't actually read it anymore, a relatively straightforward way of counting the teeth on the ring gear which will again allow you to determine what ratio and which gearbox you've actually got. First thing to do though is I'll show you where the gearbox code should be located. Come and have a look. Okay, so from the back of the car, or the back of the gearbox and where the engine is, if you look down the right hand side of the gearbox, you see some numbers here, it's not those. What you're looking for is this flat plate here. So uh, from the back of the gearbox it's at 4 or 5 o'clock, uh, the way around. And if you just look under there, I've had a good old clean up with some emery paper. I've got the light on. You can just see, look, an A and a C which is the important part just there and then some more numbers I say the AC is what we're looking for and if you have a look at the description below I'll link to all the codes and what size, what gear ratios which gearbox that is um, so you can find it online but I'll, I'll put it below as well um, and that tells me that this gearbox is hopefully a 1500 um, but could also be a 1300 because they, uh, they shared the same code for some reason um, for the ACs so uh, that brings us on to the next stage. So next I want to do is I want to uh, count how many teeth we've got uh, on the ring gear. So that'll tell me hopefully whether it's a 13 or a 15. So to do that I'm going to go underneath it. To the drain plug. Okay so we're going to take the sun plug out. Um, I'm going to use a 17mm hexagonal wrench because that's what I've got. Allen key, monster Allen key. Um, it's a bit sloppy in there, so I don't know if actually, it's actually a 17 or an 18 to be honest, um, but it's what I've always used. Okay, it's at this point when um, if your gearbox is already out of the car, you're in luck. <laughs> you can just flip it upside down. Um, if it's on the pan like mine, and um, say pop it on its side if you can. If it's in the car and the engine's installed and everything else, you're probably getting oily in your eyeball right now. Um, so what you're looking for is the ring gear. Um, so you're going to need your torch. Um, a little torch is best I find because it just points through the hole rather than everywhere and makes it easier to see. Um, I need a pen, um, so I use a tyre paint or uh, a Tipex pen because it's, it's nice and obvious and white and it'll stick to a, an oily ring gear or cog. Um, so what you're doing is you're looking for the ring gear. Now that's the, the large cog which goes around um, from the back of the, uh, the gearbox on the, on the left hand side, so it's now on the top of mine, so I'm looking up. Um, so it's the large cog or the large gear that goes around and it's the big one on the outside that you're looking for. And so if you look up at 45 degrees or so, um, you can actually see it. Now you're going to get your pen and put a little dot on one of the teeth because uh, you need to be able to count it as it goes round or when it comes back round again. Okay, looking up there, you can see I put the dots on the uh, tooth of the ring gear and basically we're going to turn the first motion shaft or the input shaft uh, by hand and um, you'll see it go round and then we'll count how many teeth uh, are on there. So I'm not going to count the dot until it comes back round. One, two, Three, four, five. Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Thirty-three teeth. Excellent. Well, I've got a fifteen hundred gearbox, so happy days. I'm quite chuffed because I wasn't sure if it was thirteen or fifteen. Um, so basically if you do this with a, a swing axle box and you count 31 teeth, um, you've got one of the rarer AS code uh, GT Beetle boxes, one that's got the long legs uh, that everyone's looking for. Um, if it's after an IRS setup and you've got 31 teeth, chances are it's the 1303S uh, gearbox or Super Beetle. Um, if it's got 33 teeth like this one, um, chances are it's a 1500 gearbox. And if you've got 35 teeth, it'll be either a 12 or a 13, because I believe they have the same final ratio. Um, but I'll link in the des description below um, how many teeth are for what ratios and for, for what gearbox, basically, so you can see quite quickly. But no, hopefully you'll find it a, 
a useful method of checking gearboxes should you ever need to. Cheers guys.